So this is what the world looks like without the shaders. And this is what the world looks like with the shaders. Wow, that's kind of a gigantic difference. Hey there guys, this is Silent Mist and welcome back to the Potato Craft public server. In the last episode, we worked a bunch on uh, getting this entire area, well, getting the third floor built. I think we're on the second floor right now. Yes, we uh, spent a bunch of time just laying things out and since then, well... I have finished building the walls and I've started to put up the ceiling. Right now it looks interesting to say the very least. Um, it looks like there are a bunch of little houses up on this floor because of the way that I have everything laid out. Yeah, it's strange. Let me come up here and I can show you guys. It, I actually kind of like how it looks and I kind of want to work with it and make this entire area sort of follow this sort of building trend. So. What I want to do is build the large roof over this area, but not put another, well, either put another floor in with uh, having it be the attic or have this area right here just be all visible so you can see all of these little rooms. I thought it looked pretty cool, but um, since the last episode, I've decided that this area is going to become sort of recreational area while we have all of the bedrooms for whatever staff might be working here. And by that, I mean all of the... Uh, all the, all of the villagers that we're going to be importing into here. But, um, yeah, that is the plan, at least for this. Um, been trying to figure out how I want to do this. The only problem is, well, there is a lot of space that we have to fill with stuff and a lot of things that we need to do in order for this entire area to be habitable. But I don't think that'll be too difficult. You know, mm, no, this isn't going to work like this. Not like this, some way or some way else. So there must be some other way. That's what I'm trying to say. Man, I am tired, guys, or at least I think I am. It's pretty early in the morning and I haven't gone to sleep in quite some time. So usually around this time is when things start to get funny. And by that, I mean, like, I enter this state of very awake tiredness where I am, um, I, I, I feel wide awake, but I can also feel the tired slowly creeping in and... It's a unique feeling. It's not one that I particularly like, but it's not a, it's not the worst feeling in the world either. It's like, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's somewhere halfway in between being really tired and being really awake all at the same time. And it is, wow, it is a weird feeling. But um, I want to get, what the heck? Oh, hi there, skeleton. No, 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 don't, don't do that. No, 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 I don't have any hunger. Please don't kill me. Oh, I need to light up this area up here because, well, there are skeletons apparently spawning up here and I don't have any torches. Darn it. Oh. Slash home. And do I have torches lying around? Yes, I do. So much stuff. So since the last episode, I've switched texture packs. I'm now using John Smith's. Yeah, I believe this is John Smith. And I've also made a couple of tweaks to the shaders that I've been using. So I've noticed that everything looked way too dark up until this point. Um, well, I shouldn't say way too dark. It was a very moody kind of dark. And I was having not really difficulties seeing, but it was definitely a bit of a strain. Oh, Jesus. Hi there. Uh, please die. Oh, these guys are so hard to kill. Ooh, avoid him and you're dead. Um, but yeah, everything seemed a little too dark, so I went around in the shaders configs, and let's see, I was messing around with, I think it was the torchlight brightness, which by default is 0.5, I think that 0.1 or 1 is a little bit too much, maybe 0.75 is a happy medium, uh, yeah, the default was a little too dark, and it was just, the torches didn't do much. And so I switched to this texture pack and then made that change and wow, I like this. 0.75 seems like the perfect area in between it. Oh, look, even the side of this wall is reflecty. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I wonder if that reflects off of this wall and it just creates infinite reflections. I don't know how that works, but that'd be pretty cool if it did that. Um, but yeah, and let's see. I want, oh, this torchlight brightness. This game is so pretty. Wow. I forgot how beautiful this game could be. Uh, we need to light that area up there up because things can spawn up there and we don't want things to spawn up here. But other than that, uh, I've been thinking of what other things I need to do in this world. And one of the things that I really need to get that I'm kind of surprised that I haven't done yet is I need to fight the wither uh, or fight a wither, probably a bunch of them because I need some beacons. Uh, one of the ways that I go mining, or at least that I did in the... Oh crap, what am I doing? Do I want this to be like this? 
Sort of, maybe. Ah, this is weird. I don't know how I want this to be done. Uh, one of the things that I did in the Minecraft Life series was to get a beacon and get some efficiency five pickaxes and <laughs> fell off my house and go mining. And if you have efficiency five and haste from a full tier beacon, you insta break all the blocks that you look at, at least all the blocks that you can pick, all the uh, stones not the ores, and you can just break and get a ton of resources really fast, you just break everything, and it's it's a very nice, very nice thing, because it's a fast way of getting lots of stuff, and yeah, you can get a ton of stuff by doing that. Uh, basically, I remade, or I got all of the resources that I needed, oh, I see all these reflections, they're so pretty, I got all the resources that I needed for quite some time just doing that, and I need to go home because it is dark out, and I would rather it be light out while I work on this stuff, because stuff is spawning, stuff is spawning on my roof. Um, but I think we might take a trip over into the nether in today's episode instead of building, because we have spent the last few episodes building, so we just need to find some obsidian, because I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Uh, let me, yeah, no, I am fairly confident that I don't have any, so I'm gonna need to go underground and mine some obsidian. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a trip down there, and I'll be back as soon as I find some lava. Okay, a little bit later, I think I've stumbled onto diamonds. Uh, let's grab these with a fortune pick, and, oh, I hear a lot of things. There's also some, also some lava, I think, really close by, so, oh, oh, that's lapis. <laughs> That's a lot of lapis. Wow, lapis has an interesting texture. And whew, we've gotten three stacks from that one vein. Wow, but there is lava down there, and man, is that bright. Like, holy crap, that is really bright stuff. Uh, let's see, let's go down there and make ourselves some obsidian, shall we? All of this bright stuff is gonna turn into very dark stuff as we cool it down. But geez, wow, that is some... Um, that is a lot of contrast. <laughs> contrast is like one of my favorite words because it so accurately describes so many things. But uh, let's open this so we can see that. Is that? I can't tell if that's more cobble or not more cobble. Um, more of that other stuff. More uh, obsidian. I don't know if that was stuff that already flown or not flowed or not. Man, talking gets hard when you're tired. <laughs> but let's uh, let's grab some of this. How many do I need? I think I need ten in order to make the portal. Wow, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Okay, I'm not gonna mine all of this on screen, but I did find the obsidian finally. Finally. Okay, we're back at home and I've gotten 22 obsidian. I think that'll be enough to keep us going for a little while. Now I figure I might as well build this portal in a place that will look cool. So we're gonna install, is that a diamond? That is a diamond, wow. <laughs> I figure we might as well build this in a place that's cool, but I guess this is pretty nice, getting some diamonds on the way. Oh, only two, unless they're, oh, nope, two more, any more, no, that seems like all, okay, let's see, how many did we get, 11 diamonds, not bad, not bad, okay, so we're gonna build it over here, we're gonna make sort of a portal that you can walk through or that you can go to the nether, go to the nether in, yeah, something like that, let's just build this, I'm like leveling up, so much leveling up, I need to update that, uh, MCMMO I think is, has been updated quite a few times ever since the last time I installed it, which was quite some time ago, let's, uh, make ourselves a flint and steel, and, ooh, I hope this looks cool, whoa, that did look pretty cool, like, wow, that, that looks completely different. Uh, if I put a torch on the other side, can I, oh, you can't even see it, wow. I can barely see those torches. Uh, let's do that, and that, and let's go to the nether. I wonder where we're gonna come out. Hopefully we don't get dropped straight into lava. That would be super unfortunate if we did. Uh, oh, well, we would have if someone didn't take the precautions to uh, build a little platform here in the nether. Yeah, if you get teleport, uh, the nether's a little bit broken in this, um, on the server because if you're too far away from spawn uh you will teleport to the border of the world and then it'll just revert you back to like position zero zero or whatever that is where are we we are yeah we were probably pretty close to zero zero and as a result of that well obviously <laughs> you land in lava because that's a bunch of lava but someone someone had already built a nice little spot for us to uh land on so so kind. So we're here looking for some glowstone, and wow, that's a lot of glowstone. 
Unfortunately, I don't have an easy way to get there. Oh, man. Oh, God, the nether is scary, and it's really dark here. Let's light stuff up with a torch. Wow, it's really... Why is it so dark here without a torch? I guess it sort of makes sense, considering that there is no light sources here other than the glowstone, but... Oh, jeez. I need some glowstone that's easy to get. That's in the ceiling. That I don't think I can get that, but... Let's see. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that looks like it's possible to get... Need that, and I need wither skeletons, because how many skulls do we need? We need three skulls to build the farm? Or not the farm, to build the wither. To build the wither, yes. Um, and after we get that, then we will be able to get the beacons, which we so desire. But I want some of these glow... I need some glowstone to make glowstone lamps, because I think it'll look nice to throw lamps inside of all of the rooms instead of, you know... Uh, Instead of just torches, because torches, while nice, they do seem a little desolate, a little old. Having something that you can toggle on with a light switch, now that's new. That's new and hip. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's grab these. Oh, God, I don't want to die. But then again, I don't think that I will lose anything if I die, because the server is set to not drop your inventory on death. Sometimes I feel like I'm too nice on the server, giving people their full inventories when they die instead of making them go back and get it. Well, I guess in the case of falling into lava, that would really suck, but that doesn't even happen on the server. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be nice, getting all of the stuff that we need. Every time I don't come to the nether for a while, I just remember how nice the, uh, the soundtrack is here. I wish the overworld had music like this, but um, I saw these plumes of lava just falling down and I thought, dang, these look really pretty. I kind of want to build a forge now, but that'll be difficult. Maybe I'll build something cool in the nether. No one ever builds anything cool in the nether. But we have what we came here for. We have the, um, we have the glowstone that we came here for. Now we can just come back here and with any luck, there's the redstone. We're going to be able to make a bunch of lamps. I don't think I've ever made a redstone lamp. Wait, no, 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 I definitely have. It's just a recipe that I don't make too often. <laughs> Usually, uh, I'll just have it programmed into, like, an applied energistic system, but crafting these by hand, what? Who does that? So we'll do this, and then we're going to need some levers, which, yes, I have everything I need. Wow, this is a surprise, having everything I need. <laughs> Okay, so let's do that, and now we can just go find some place for these. I don't know what I want to do with these, or where they're going to be, but I guess first things first, we can have some in the bedrooms to have them act as a nice light source. Although in this texture pack, the lamps, uh, just glowstone by itself looks really nice. Uh, let's see, I need a dark area. Here's a dark room, I think. There we go. What is this lighting bug? No, lighting bugs look so bad with shaders. So let's turn this on right here. Oof, now that's pretty. Oh my god, that's really pretty. I think if we go over here, video settings, shaders, shader options, lighting and shadow, let's change the bloom. Where's bloom? Bloom strength. How high can I set this to? 1.5? Done. Wow, so bloomy. <laughs> Bloom is so bright. Oh, okay, so now we just need to find some a nice place for all of these things. Oh, wow. That is a lot of bloom. Oh, my God. It's so bright. <laughs> I just look at this and I'm like, oh, it's almost too bright. But I guess it is daytime outside, so it makes sense for it to be this bright. Um, actually, this is one thing that I'm a little worried about when it comes to having these shaders is the contrast between bright and dark is quite extreme, as you can see. If we were to, uh, turn down, turn down the bloom, it should go down by a significant amount. Oh, dang it. I hit escape instead of going back. Shaders, shader options, and, oh wait, no, it came down. What? Maybe not. I could have sworn that, hmm, I don't know. Maybe a more subtle bloom is what we want. A subtle or uh, bleh, Orlando Bloom. No, no, that's that's not what we want. We want the lighting effects. Oh, but where am I going to stick all of this stuff? So, I guess since this is going to be a room, we're going to need to have like a desk right here. A desk would look really nice because then you have a nice view of the outdoors. And wow, that's pretty. <laughs> Every single time I look outside from the indoors, I'm just like, dang, this game looks good. Oh my God, so bright. Um, 
the heck am I gonna put these? I don't know. But I just looked at the, oh, what is that? That That's not right. I looked at the outside of our house not too long ago, right before I started recording this episode actually, and I thought, this looks interesting. We need to have a courtyard out front, uh, or at least just some stone in a circle to denote that this is the front entrance, although this is, no wait, this is the back entrance, so that doesn't make any sense, but we have a nice ocean view, and yeah, we have to decorate the outside. The building looks really desolate from the outside, and I don't really know how to decorate it, so I guess I should look at some reference material for that, because, well, I kind of just built the shape out of nothing, I just came up with that, but it looks really boring, it kind of looks like a prison, to be perfectly honest. Maybe, maybe that's what it is, or that's what it will be, because I will be trapping many villagers here. But, this episode has been kind of all over the place. We started off with, like, changes in the design, and then we went to the nether, and now I'm trying to figure out how the heck to make the outside look a little bit more attractive. I think it might be a flaw with the f fact that, um, this entire building is not symmetrical at all. It is very asymmetrical, which may or may not be a bad thing when it comes to house design. That I'm not sure. But, yeah, I think I'm going to end things off here, so today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I am exhausted. I'm going to go take a nap, guys. It is, it is that time of the day for a wonderful long nap. So, I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do leave a like. It always helps out a bunch. And I think I have one more video that I want to record before I leave tomorrow, so I don't think it's going to be on this server, but it should be on the Technode Firmacraft server, which by the time that video goes out might be open to the public. I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet because originally I was planning on launching over the weekend, but then a bug was found and I need to update the server to see if the bug gets resolved with that update and otherwise, I don't know, That's it's a pretty bad bug. So I'll probably have to submit a bug report to the mod creator and the mod pack to say, yo, this happens when you do this one thing. And yeah, hopefully that'll get fixed. So I can't launch the server just yet, but hopefully things will change soon. Um, or at least I can't go through with the live with the public launch of the server. But I think that's going to be all for now, guys. So I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all again next time. So until then... Oh man, next time you see this map, it's probably going to look really ugly because I'm probably not going to be able to run the game with the shaders, but that'll be a problem for future me. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all again next time. It's the third time I'm saying this. See you guys later.